For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Tuesday, February 8th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont on Monday reporting no deaths, 794 new cases of the virus reported between Friday and Sunday, with five new cases reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire reporting 14 deaths, 1,044 new cases of the virus reported over three days, and that's the past three days. There was one death, 218 cases reported in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts reporting 56 deaths, 6,725 new cases of the virus, and those cases were confirmed on Friday, with 123 cases reported in Franklin County. Massachusetts COVID numbers from the weekend will be reported tomorrow. A convicted killer has been sentenced to more time in prison for using a gun to kill his victims. Justin Orwat, 51, of Springfield, Massachusetts, is already spending 14 years in state prison for manslaughter. Police say in 2017, Orwat killed Stephen Lovely of Holyoke, Massachusetts, and Amanda Sanderson of Brattleboro at a home in Townsend. Now the feds are tacking on more time. A federal judge sentenced Orwat to an additional seven years for possessing the gun used in the killings. As a convicted felon, it was illegal for Orwat to have that gun. Former Vermont Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman wants his old job back. Zuckerman had waged an unsuccessful run for governor in 2020. On Monday, Zuckerman made his announcement via email and a video sent to supporters. A formal kickoff event is scheduled for February 21st. A former state legislator from Putney will run for state senate this fall. Nadir Hashim had served one term in the House before resigning for economic reasons. The state trooper is currently working as a law clerk, or I rather I should say the former Vermont state trooper is working as a law clerk for the firm of Chadwick and Spensley in Brattleboro. Opponents of a proposed constitutional amendment on reproductive rights say they plan to rally at the Vermont State House today where their proposal, rather, where the proposal is scheduled for a vote. If the House approves the bill, a proposed constitutional amendment would go to a statewide vote. Supporters say they want to put the U.S. Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade decision into the state constitution. Opponents claim the idea would go too far. WTSA Sports, the Bruins, back from the All-Star break, host the Pittsburgh Penguins tonight with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. And the Celtics, winners of five straight, visit the Brooklyn Nets this evening with the tip-off at 7.30. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on your Tuesday, February 8th, my name is Ian Kelly.